So here we are with a personalized clipboard, but in a new way. You can hang artworks, photos, and many more on it, and you just need some basic art supplies for it. And here I am with a big piece of cardboard which I have covered with a white sheet, and now we are going to make some guidelines on it. Here we go. Well, here we will be making a honeycomb structure on it and paint it with acrylic pastel colors. For the side of the hexagon, I am roughly taking each side as two inches. You can take the length you prefer. As you can see, I am done with making the guidelines. And firstly, I will be using pastel purple that you can see right now. The colors I will be using are all pastel, pink, purple, blue, yellow, and also a glitter golden sheet for some hexagons. And here I am just painting the colors which I just told before. And so I'm going to really fast forward, like really much. So here we go. As you can see, we are almost done with the background. So to clean up the pencil marks here and some places more, I will be using a golden metallic marker. And now you can see we are completely done with the background. And I will be using a plastic sheet to cover it, so we can prevent it from dust and further damage. And now we are done with the background and covering the plastic. And it is a little crinkly here. I will fix it later. And now moving ahead, we will be using some jute strings so we can make area to hang stuff with some wooden clips, or you can also use some binder clips, or maybe some thumb pins if you don't want to use jute strings. Okay, these are some thin but really sharp pins, so we can tuck in the jute strings, and we'll see what I'm. Doing here, I'm inserting the pin inside the jute string like this and pushing it inside the cardboard. Please be careful with it. And the part of the pin which is sticking out of the cardboard from the other side, carefully bend it. And if you want to be extra careful, please put tape on it.
and as you can see I have secured it with thumbprints and here we are done with the background dew strings and now we will give it a final touch. Well, as we have reached the end of the video, it's time for some bonus tips. So here are two cards which I have covered with plastic. So you can write on it with a bone marker and rub it if you don't like it and it is a reusable card. And also I want you to tell you that the list of the art supplies I have used in this video is in the description box below. And thank you for giving your time and it means a lot to me. So thanks for watching. Subscribe to my arts, like, share as much as possible.